This is a video demonstration on the use of glucagon, which is used in cases of severe hypoglycemia for patients with diabetes, who usually are insulin treated. Uh, there are two companies that make the glucagon emergency kit. Lilly makes a glucagon emergency kit that comes in a red container, and uh, Novo Nordisk makes the glucagon hypo kit that comes in an orange container. They both are, contain the same uh, one milligram of glucagon, Glucagon is a hormone that if your blood sugar is very low, this hormone is released by the liver to raise your blood sugar. So in cases of severe low blood sugar or where patients are unable to, uh, to consume uh, juice or any liquid to bring their blood sugar up, um, you can use the, glu the, the glucagon. I'm going to use the glucagon hypo kit only because it's already outdated and, um, and, I, can and I possibly could use this for, for someone in the future. When you open up both cases, there is there are instructions in, in the middle. Um, it, it already comes with a lyophilized powder in a vial. You pop this lid off. You can wipe with alcohol, but when time is of the essence, I wouldn't get too, uh, too picky about sterile technique. You take the, the, the um, syringe. This is filled with water. This is a very long, this is, goes into the muscle. You put the, the syringe right in here and push down. It's almost like, uh, like powdered sugar and water. It dissolves so quickly. Um, I usually hold this. You shake it. I hold it together like this and turn around a little bit so that this is all completely, um, completely uh, d d dissolved. Then we're going to withdraw all of it. Anyone over uh, 20 kilos gets um, a full one milligram, and anybody below 20 kilos would get a half a milligram. Um, this is going to be my pretend patient. We would wipe the site, go straight in, and administer the medicine, and hold it for a few seconds so it doesn't leak out. And then you want to dispose of this in your sharps container. Um, this concludes the, the use of the glucagon emergency kit. Uh, for any further advice, you should talk to your healthcare provider, but it is important to have a backup glucagon emergency kit just in case of emergencies.